Scoffers beware, the biblical tale of David and Goliath just got more real than ever, thanks to an archaeological discovery that fits the biblical description of Goliath's armor. In the biblical tale, roughly 3,000 years ago, David, when he was still a young shepherd and not yet the immortal king, engaged in single combat on behalf of the Jews against Goliath, the huge champion of the Jews' arch-enemies, the Philistines. The story read like this. A champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp. His height was six cubits and a span. He had a bronze helmet on his head and wore a coat of scale armor of bronze weighing five thousand shekels. On his legs he wore bronze greaves, and a bronze javelin was slung on his back. His spear shaft was like a weaver's rod, and its end point weighed six hundred shekels. His shield bearer went ahead of him. Goliath stood and shouted to the ranks of Israel, Why do you come out and line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine, and are you not the servants of Saul? Choose a man and have him come down to me. If he is able to fight and kill me, we will become your subjects. But if I overcome him and kill him, you will become our subjects and serve us. After David volunteered to fight Goliath, David confronted him. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand he struck down the Philistine and killed him. David ran and stood over him. He took hold of the Philistine's sword and drew it from the sheath. After he killed him, he cut off his head with the sword. As Arnaritz reports, in 2017 archaeologists found shards of pottery in Philistine Gath that were inscribed with names similar to Goliath's. In the first book of Samuel, it states, he had a bronze helmet on his head and wore a coat of scale armor of bronze. On his legs he wore bronze greaves, and a bronze javelin was slung on his back. Alaritz notes, Now, if the story had been 7th or 6th century BCE fiction, written hundreds of years after the event, the author would have had no idea how warriors had been garbed in the earlier Bronze Age. To sum up, Goliath seems to have worn contemporary Bronze Age gear, scribes did exist shortly after his time and possibly within it, and the biblical descriptions suit other ancient texts referring to armies led by champions, rather than as the impersonal institutions of later texts. The accurate description of a Bronze Age warrior's equipment opens up the possibility that a memory was handed down over several centuries, embellished to be sure, but with a core of truth. Thanks Hank Berrien for help with this report. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthismall.com. Once again that is www.atthismall.com. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar you can support us, and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow. Y. E. S. H. U. A. Now .com. Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below, please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.